and welcome back to the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I'm your host, Forklift Certified Gambling, with my co-host. Executive producer Mo, always in the back. What is up, y'all? We are back at it again. Cameron couldn't make it on the show today, but we've been pretty hot lately. Had a rough day yesterday, one in three, but that is not stopping us. We are back on the podcast, first podcast of the week. So we are daily handicapping MLB. And we got the picks for y'all, folks. I'm going to let my executive producer, Mo, start it off. Morgan, who you got for your first pick? Okay, so super predictable because you know me, man. Let me start off with some Yankees stuff. Of so, course he is. Dude, it's not my fault the Yankees ha- have been good to me. Okay. We're turning into a Yankees so, podcast. And I'm not fucked up about it. it Whenever I do my picks, there's basically it's just the Yankee segment of the week. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I, I'm I'm doing good on them. They've been hitting. But, They've been hitting. So let me get the Yankees minus one and a half and over five and a half runs. The line should be at four and a half, but I did an alternate run line. And whenever you do Yankees minus one and a half and over five and a half runs, it's a quick little two to one. Nice. Some slight, nice. some simple, some easy because you know the Yanks go cover against them scrub ass Marlins. Yeah, I mean the Yanks are just built like that. I see it's at two eleven right now. So is that over five and a half total runs for both teams, or is that a Yankees team total? The, the Yankees, the Yankees total runs. Gotcha. I like it. I like it. You got anything else for us? Yeah, man. All right. So hear me out, dude. Being from Smyrna, I grew up two miles away from Sonny Gray's mama's house. You know what I mean? So my boy's coming back. So let me go ahead and throw something down on him. Let me get the Cardinals money line because I expect Sonny to be shut out. And then let me get Sonny six or more strikeouts. And when you do that, if you parlay them together, that's plus 400. That's a four to one. And as long as Sonny does what Sonny does, it's a lock. It's a shoe in yeah, you know, I've been a big Sonny Gray fan since his days in Oakland, and uh, I'm glad he's in St. Louis now. He's getting a good opportunity. So, that is definitely doable. And that 4-1, to one, that's a smash price. Right. 4-1 for to one for just Sonny to throw six or more strikeouts and win the game, like, that is – that's really not much to ask. And 4-1 to one is good value for that. Very doable. Very doable. I like it. I like it. Mo got two parlays going for the Tuesday slate. Yeah, just got two little two-leggers, and, you know, if, if you hit on both, then you're making good money today. Pretty decent. I mean, all you really need is just the uh, the two-to-one to hit, and then if the four-to-one hits, we're laughing all the way to the bank. All right, folks, for my Tuesday, April 9th slate, I got two picks for y'all. So for my first pick, I really wish this guy would have worked out in Oakland. He had some good years, but he just never really panned out completely. He's on the Marlins now. A.J. Puck under four and a half Ks. I had to double check. A.J. Puck under four and a half Ks for Trey Slate. Um, He's just been getting rocked, and the Marlins really don't give him the defense and or the runs to really keep up with other teams. I think Puck maybe gets shelled and gets taken out by the fifth, early fifth. So I like his under K props, and it's at plus money. I believe it was at plus 124, so. AJ Puck under strikeouts is a lock. And then for my next one, I got to go back to it. They haven't done really that wrong whenever I bet on them. Um, the Milwaukee money line, man. Joe Ross is pitching tonight, and it's, it's going to be a tough series with the Reds. Uh, I thought <clears throat> Milwaukee would be able to make a, uh, a run yesterday at the game. It didn't work out that way. They got it close. They got within a run. I think they were down like five runs at one point. So uh, I'm happy getting on this Milwaukee team. They've been high flying, good pitching, good bullpen. So that's going to yeah, be Yeah, dude, the Brew Crew. Time. Brew Crew have been doing you all nice on the bets this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Brew Crew really hasn't done me wrong whenever I picked them on the show. So I'm going to keep riding with them. Back Joe Ross for the day. I don't really have any in-game props or anything going, but I just like the Brewers money line. If you really want to get spicy, maybe look at Brewers first five innings. But I think this is probably going to be a sweat till the ninth. So let's lock it in, folks. And this has been the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I'm your host, Forklift Certified Gambling, with my co-host. Executive producer Mo in the back. 
Thank y'all for tuning in, y'all. Give us a like, comment, share, subscribe. We're trying to get these daily picks out every day. So make sure to follow the social media down below in the description, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace.